a little sad news in the garden this morning, at least for me. The dreaded blossom end rot on tomatoes. Can be caused by a couple different things, either uh, watering that isn't sufficient or um, if you get like a really heavy rain and then some dry and then a really heavy rain. So if it's inconsistent, it can cause this. Um, but it's also a calcium deficiency. And so trying to figure out how to treat it can be uh, a little troublesome. So, but I'll, I'll usually spray some calcium on, on the leaves and a lot of times that'll fix it. And, um, but it is something that can kind of cause me to lose sleep because you can lose quite a few tomatoes uh, to blossom end rot. Something else I'll talk about is difference between heirlooms and hybrid uh, newer varieties of tomatoes. So here is an heirloom variety of German Johnson. Uh, and if you can see, it's putting on, it's putting on pretty good, uh, but it's kind of inconsistent. And the numbers of fruits in clusters aren't very many. Um, there's another example. All right, and these are in the same patch that I'm growing everything else in. But if I walk down just a little bit, there's another heirloom. Uh, if I walk down to one of my hybrid plants, so this is a um, this is a better boy, and so you notice the clusters of fruits are larger um, and they're more consistent. So I come up, there's a cluster, and I come up about three leaves, and there's another cluster, and I come up another three leaves, and there's another cluster. So to me, the hybrids are just a little more um, a little more predictable in how they're going to bear. Um, now, of course, that says nothing about flavors. I mean, the flavor of some of these um, heirlooms people will swear by. Um, but I've certainly never had anybody give me back some of my hybrid varieties and say they didn't taste good either. Um, so, but I try to grow a little bit of both, but I grow, um, I grow mostly better boys in my garden. So... Just a little bit, uh, a little bit to troubleshoot. Try to figure out some blossom end rot issues. It may be water since this is the first year I've done the black plastic. Um, I may not be getting quite enough water down um, consistently enough. Um, but who knows? I'm going to get a soil tube and punch down into some of the plastic and see how how moist it is. But just part of the issues if you're going to do much gardening.